AKA Young Thugs charges included possession of methamphetamine with intent to distribute, possession of hydrocodone with intent to distribute, possession of marijuana with intent to distribute, possession of amphetamine, possession of alprazolam, two counts of possession of codeine, and one count of possession of firearm during commission of a felony. It has been over two years since Young Thug's initial arrest, and his trial has been plagued by persistent delays, leaving fans and observers frustrated with the judicial process. Amidst delays, Criticism of the justice system has grown, with many mocking its inefficiency and questioning whether Young Thug will ever receive a fair trial. This ongoing scrutiny of his lyrics as potential confessions has further complicated matters, casting a shadow over his career regardless of his trial's outcome. In this video, we'll tell you why Young Thug may never be able to get out of his legal troubles. Before we get started, make sure to leave a like and comment on this video. Also, if you would like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 12, then all you have to do is subscribe to this channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck. The Rico Case Young Thug, once held as Atlanta's most dynamic rapper, soared to fame with his hits like Stoner in 2014 and earned accolades including three Billboard number 1 albums and a Grammy for his work on This Is America in 2019. However, his career took a dynamic turn when he and 27 others were indicted by Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis under Georgia's RICO statute in May 2022. The indictment accused Young Thug of leading the street gang YSL, Young Slime Life, allegedly involved in serious crimes such as murder, armed robbery, drug trafficking, and carjacking. Prosecutors allege YSL has ties to the National Bloods Gang and operates in a neighborhood marked by violence. The trial expected to be lengthy, faced significant delays, particularly during jury selection, which extended over 10 months due to complexity of the case and the larger number of defendants. By November 2023, when opening statements finally begun, some defendants had already accepted plea deals, while others opted for separate trials from Young Thug. Gunna took the plea deal. What hurt Young Thug's case the most was some of his associates taking plea deals, with Gunna's decision being particularly damaging. Gunna, a close ally of Young Thug, opted to plead guilty to charges and cooperate with law enforcement, avoiding a trial. In hip-hop culture, such actions are often viewed as betrayals, suggesting cooperation with authorities at the expense of others. His actions caused significant concerns amongst fans and critics. Public figures like WAC 100 and 6 9 have publicly criticized Gunna, alleging he provided substantial information to law enforcement. Despite Gunna's claim to the contrary, the term of his plea and mandate cooperation included possible testimony if required by the court. This situation intensifies the perception that law enforcement is targeting Young Thug as the primary figure in the case. Emotional Opening Statement The opening statement delivered by Young Thug's lawyer Brian Steele on November 28, 2003 was nothing short of profound. He painted a poignant picture for the jury, recounting the harrowing experience of a nine-year-old boy witnessing his older brother Benny shot and left untreated by police who instead detained their distraught mother. Brian captured a narrative of resilience and ambition, portraying Young Thug's journey from displacement at 16 due to public housing demolition to his rise as a prominent rapper. He argued that Young Thug's music career was not just a personal ambition, but a path to uplift his family as a community from generational despair. Many fans were hoping that this emotional appeal would sway the trial in Young Thug's favor. However, as the trial unfolded, it became clear that the legal complexities could make this case go for a long time. Shocking use of rap lyrics as evidence. The prosecution in Young Thug's case has taken the controversial step of using his own lyrics against him. Citing lines from songs like Slime Shit and Original Slime Shit as evidence. This tactic where rap lyrics are interpreted as confessions or boasts about criminal activity has sparked renowned debate about its fairness, especially when applied disproportionately to African-American and Latino artists. 
predominant figures in the music industry, including Drake, Kanye West, Kendrick Lamar, and Lil Wayne, have rallied behind the Protect Black Art movement. This movement aims to defend artistic expression from being exploited in legal contexts, arguing that interpreting lyrics literally and out of context risks reinforcement racial biases and unfairly influencing juries. The indictment against Young Thug cites specific lyrics such as, gave the lawyer close to two mil, he handled all the killings from the song Just How It Is as evidence of criminal conspiracy. Critics include constitutional experts like Jack Lorner from the University of California, Irving, caution that this practice undermines free speech protections and skews trials by focusing on artistic expression rather than solid evidence. Lerner argues that such tactics by prosecutors exploit juries' unfamiliarity with rap music, potentially depriving artists of a fair trial and setting a troubling precedent for the First Amendment rights of musicians. Allegation of Witness Tampering the trial, which has attracted widespread attention in Atlanta's legal and entertainment circles, is now on hold as the judges consider whether to step down due to allegations of misconduct by the defense. The case hit a major snag recently when it was revealed that Judge Ural Glanville and prosecutors met privately with a key witness, Kenneth Copeland, without the presence of a defense lawyer. This raised concerns about fairness and possible witness tampering. The defense attorney, Brian Steele, accused the judge and prosecutors of misconduct, calling the trial a farce. Tensions escalate when Steele refuses to disclose his source of information in court, leading to a contempt of court charges against him. This resulted in a 20-day jail sentence, later suspended by the Georgia Supreme Court pending appeal. The prosecution contends that the meeting with the witness was appropriate focused solely on his contempt charge and did not require the defense's presence. However, the controversy has halted the trial, awaiting a decision on whether Judge Glanville should continue presiding over the case. Legal experts and observers describe the proceedings as unprecedented and akin to a reality TV show due to the dramatic twists and ongoing legal battles. What is the future of Young Thug? The future of Young Thug's case remains uncertain. His legal team's challenges against the admissibility of his lyrics will be pivotal in determining whether the trial proceeds and how it would unfold. If the courts allow the trial to resume, Young Thug faces the daunting task of defending himself against charges of criminal conspiracy. Beyond the immediate legal implications, the case holds significant ramifications for Young Thug's career and personal reputation. Prolonged legal battles and the stigma of criminal allegations can impact his ability to work and maintain public support. Moreover, the case raises border societal questions about the interpretation of artistic expression in criminal trials, particularly with marginalized communities. The outcome will not only affect Young Thug's future, but also could influence discussion and potential reform concerning the fair treatment of rap lyrics and artistic freedom in legal contexts. And with this, we have come to the very end of the video. Tell us in the comments below what you think will happen in Young Thug's trial. Let us know your thoughts on this whole video below. Also, don't forget to leave us a like. And if you are new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button for all future content. Thank you for watching. Until next time.